an exceptional year for students from the architects and the talent from our kids is recognized statewide. Bobak Kandala was named this year's winner for Louisiana's Elementary Student of the Year. Bobak is a student at Eden Gardens Fundamental Elementary Magnet, which is located right here in Caddo Parish. And history has been made for the Bossier Parish School District. Student Zach Cryer has reached a remarkable achievement, making him the first student ever for the Bossier Parish to be named Louisiana Student of the Year for elementary, middle, and now high school. You may remember Zach. I featured him um, as the 4-H state president last year, and today we are so excited to have him back now that he has achieved the trifecta of winning all three titles during his school years. Well, Zach, you're joining us right now. Congratulations. So let's go ahead and talk about, you know, your accolades. You know, you we I was reading some of the things about you, and there's an entire list, so we can't possibly get through all of them or we'll run out through all of our time. But some of those things, Louisiana 4-H president, student council maintaining a 4.0, GPA and you just recently came back from Baton Rouge where you were just recognized for your performances of student of the year. How does this feel to have achieved all of this? Well, it's an honor and I, it's, I really feel that it's a true blessing to be able to um, achieve all of this and I'm really excited that I get to represent uh, Louisiana and myself, my school, my parish in this uh, capacity. Zach, that is unbelievably excited. So my question for you is I do have to ask, um, was this something that you sought out to do after you won the elementary school a student of the year? Or was it something that you were just like, hey, I'm just going to do my thing. And if it follows, it follows because it's a really big deal. Yes, ma'am. Well, I never really looked past the next step. Um, I wasn't really familiar with the process in fifth grade, and then uh, I was blessed enough to win it the first time, and then I looked forward and to see if I could try to do it a second time, and then once I did get it the second time, I was like, man, it would be really nice to be able to make history and do it, be the first student in Louisiana history to do it all three times. And, um, of course, everything followed, and I'm very blessed that that um, happened. Yeah. So what, the, the fact that we have you here, let's go ahead and talk about what motivated you to stay on track this and essentially this entire time from kindergarten to 12th grade. What kept you on par on track? Well, I view this honor as a way to represent myself, my family, my community, and now my state. And I really just wanted to have that opportunity again and look and be able to represent um, myself and my state as best as possible. And so that's really what motivated me to be a great representative of everything that um, I believe I stand for, my family stands for, and uh, everything that's great about Louisiana. Zach, how are you hoping to inspire, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the next generation for individuals who are looking up to you and saying, hey, I've won now at the elementary level. Maybe I can be like Zach. You know, how, what, what, what kind of words of advice would you share for those individuals? My words of advice would be that um, everything adds up and that everything is possible. So you may see like an honor like this and feel that it is a uh, massive undertaking and it is, but uh, all those small things add up. Like you mentioned all of the honors, I achieved each of those things individually, like student council, like working in 4-H, like maintaining a GPA. And so if you can work to achieve all of those little things, they accumulate into a, in a big way. Zach, you speak so well. You articulate everything. So I remember that from the first time I interviewed you, I was like, wow, this guy should go into like politics or something like that. So, um, okay, let's go ahead and talk about your recent experience to Baton Rouge. How was that like? Uh, it was amazing. We went down there and there was a little watch party. Um, it was just a beautiful room. They had it and they made it a really memorable experience for all of the applicants and the honorees and everything. And we sat there and we're anticipa anticipating it and they started announcing uh, the qualifications that the winner had and then I start hearing more and more things that I kind of recognize and then well, I was like well because it was you right like it was your <laughs> yes, life <laughs> yes ma'am and I was very excited when they finally called my name and showed my picture on the screen it was it was an amazing experience wow that sounds absolutely fabulous uh Zach my, my last question for you because we're running out of time is what is next for you well, uh, in the fall, I'm looking forward to going to LSU down in Baton Rouge. I'm going to major in nutrition, and I hope one day that I could take that the pre-medicine route and uh, be a rheumatologist. So that's really what I'm looking forward to right now is just going down to Baton Rouge and living the college student life. How, how is this uh, made your parents proud? I'm sure you're proud of yourself as well, but what are some of the things that even maybe your other classmates have told you or your parents? I mean, it's really surreal, but just we've already we've always talked about how every award, every honor is just an opportunity to represent. 
and I'm just really proud to be able to, like I said earlier, just represent my family in that way. So. Well, wonderful. Well, Zach, thank you so much for being here today, for inspiring all of us uh, that, that are watching, me and myself, and for the other students and individuals who are watching and thinking, hey, maybe I can be the next Zach Cryer up in here. Um, it, it's a pleasure to meet you, and I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish in the next step of your life. Congratulations. Thank you very much.